Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and this uh, semicircle with the center O put together as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region. And moreover, uh, this uh, segment uh, AD is uh, 6 units. This segment uh, BE is the square root of 3 units and this uh, angle uh, BAC is uh, 60 degrees and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC we know this angle is 60 degrees this angle is uh, 90 degrees and we know the sum of uh, all these uh, interior angles equals to 180 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 30 degrees and in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this center O with this point uh, D as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see that uh, this OD is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. So therefore I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase uh, r and likewise this uh, OC is the radius as well. So therefore this is going to be lowercase r as well. And likewise this uh, EO is the radius as well. So therefore this is going to be lowercase r as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, COD. And we can see this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this uh, side length is lowercase r and this side length is lowercase r as well. So therefore, if this angle is 30 degrees, uh, then this angle has got to be 30 degrees uh, as well. And we know the sum of uh, the angles uh, in a triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 120 degrees and now let's focus on this uh, code uh, CD and I am going to label uh, this code CD as uh, X uh, units and now we are going to solve for uh, X value and now let's recall the law of cosines for this uh, given triangle uh, ABC we have been given uh, these uh, three law of cosines for all these uh, three angles and uh, three sides so therefore we can see our this uh, side length is uh, x and the opposite angle is 120 degrees so therefore we are going to apply the law of cosines on this triangle uh, COD so we are going to have x square equal to r square plus r square minus 2 times r times uh, r times cosine of 120 degrees and now we know that uh, cosine of 120 degrees equals to negative 1 divided by 2 so therefore I am going to replace this uh, cosine of 120 degrees by negative 1 over 2 over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced uh, this uh, cosine of 120 degrees by negative 1 divided by 2 over here Let's go ahead and simplify. We are going to get uh, x square r square plus r square is going to give us uh, 2r square. And here this negative and negative sign is going to make uh, positive. And this 1 divided by 2 and 2 is gone. So r times uh, r is going to be r square. Let me undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and therefore we can see that our x value is going to be r times the square root of 3 units and now we know that uh, our x uh, is same as this uh, cd length so therefore this uh, cd length uh, is going to be r times the square root of 3 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, length uh, bc is going to be equal to the sum of these three individual lengths uh, square root of 3 lowercase r and lowercase r uh, as well so therefore if we add uh, all these value that is going to give us uh, 2r plus square root of uh, 3 
and likewise this whole uh, side length uh, AC is going to be some of these uh, two individual lengths uh, AD and this called uh, CD which is uh, R times square root of 3 plus uh, 6 so therefore this side length uh, AC is going to become uh, R times square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 6 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and let's recall the cosine of angle theta is uh, adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse and in our case uh, our angle is uh, theta is 30 degrees uh, our uh, adjacent is uh, 2r uh, plus square root of 3 and our hypotenuse is uh, r times square root of 3 plus 6 so therefore uh, we can write uh, cosine of uh, 30 degrees equal to our adjacent side is 2r plus uh, square root of uh, 3 all over r times uh, square root of uh, 3 plus uh, 6 and now we know that cosine of 30 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I am going to replace this uh, cosine of 30 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2 over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this cosine of 30 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2 and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore we can write uh, square root of 3 times uh, r times square root of 3 plus 6 uh, is going to be equal to 2 times uh, 2 r plus uh, square root of uh, 3 and now we are going to distribute uh, these uh, so therefore we are going to get uh, 3 times r plus uh, 6 times square root of uh, 3 equals to 4 times r plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 and now we are going to move this uh, 3r on the other side and at the same time I'm going to move this uh, 2 times square root of 3 on the opposite direction as you can see in this uh, next step and now if we simplify 4r minus 3r is going to give us uh, r equal to 4 times the square root of 3 units so therefore our this uh, radius uh, r value turns out to be 4 times square root of 3 units and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region area is going to be equal to this uh, whole uh, sector uh, C or D area minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, C or D as you can see in this uh, given uh, equation and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this sector C or D and the area of this uh, triangle uh, C or D as well and here's our next step we are now going to calculate the area of this sector C O D and now let's recall the area of a sector formula area equal to theta divided by 360 degrees uh, times uh, pi r square where r is the radius and in our case our angle uh, theta is 120 degrees and our radius is uh, 4 times square root of 3 so therefore I can write uh, angle theta is 120 degrees uh, divided by 300 uh, 60 degrees times pi and our r radius value is 4 times square root of 3 whole square and now we can see 120 degrees divided by 360 degrees is going to give us 1 divided by 3 and likewise uh, this 4 times square root of 3 whole square is going to give us uh, 48 so therefore I can write uh, 1 divided by 3 times uh, 48 uh, times uh, pi and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 16 times uh, pi so thus our sector area turns out to be 16 pi and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, COD and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c as you can see in this uh, triangle our two side lengths are a and b and the angle uh, c is uh, in between and here in our case uh, our side lengths are uh, radius r 
and the angle between them is 120 degrees. So therefore our triangle COD area is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, radius R times radius R times sine of uh, 120 degrees. And now we can see our sine of 120 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace sine of 120 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this sine of 120 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2. So that is going to give us uh, square root of 3 divided by 4 times uh, r square. And our radius uh, r is 4 times square root of 3. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this radius r by 4 times square root of 3. And now we know this uh, power 2 is going to be 48 as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 12 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So thus the area of this triangle C or D turns out to be 12 times square root of 3. And here's our final step. Let's recall this uh, equation once again. Green shaded region area is going to be equal to the sector C or D area minus the area of the triangle C or D. And here are our sector C or D area and the area of the triangle uh, COD. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we are going to have a 16 pi minus 12 times the square root of 3. So thus our green shaded area turns out to be 16 pi minus 12 times square root of 3 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 29.48 square units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.